fitness studios. We swap them for Chloe Ting workouts, but they're back, baby. From the cult following of LA Soul Cycle to the New York model's favorite Barry boot camp, we're back working out in person. Over the last five years, I've lived in many cities. Toronto, Vancouver, Edmonton. I've traveled to LA, New York, Stockholm, all over the world. And I've been very blessed to experience almost every single fitness studio that is available. So it was time I put them to the test. But guess what's also happening? A recession. And if Dave Ramsey's gonna yell at us for spending $30 on a fitness class, I wanna make sure it's worth it for you. So I'm gonna rank it in terms of price, what to expect, community, difficulty letters, the aesthetic vibe that's gonna be on your Instagram feed, and the results I got. Most importantly, describe who should be going to what class. Enough of this jimble jamble, let's dive into it. First, my number one addiction you guys have seen so many times. So we're gonna put it on the chopping block first. Barry's Bootcamp. It's about $35 for a class Canadian. 26 American. Yes, I'm going to do the math for y'all because I love you that much. Every time I do math, I'm going to ask for a like. <laughs> Please thumbs this up. What to expect? You're going to sign in online. They have a beautiful app. All these things have apps. You schedule ahead of time. Show up 15 minutes before your first one. You have two options. You'll start on the floor or you'll start on the treadmill and you'll swap about four times. Okay, okay it's 6.30 a.m. and I'm off to do a Barry's Bootcamp. I'm trying to show you the screen, but... She's loading, hurry. One of my favorites, Chloe Love. Also, they do themed ones. What's up? Uh, all these classes you're not allowed to film in. So all the footage I get, I'm being sneaky AF. Hey, for Kelty? Awesome, thank you. The class lasts about 50 minutes with a cool down and stretch, so really probably only 45 minutes. Now here's why berries is so expensive. You see this? That's a Dyson. You see this? That's Aura shampoo and conditioner and body wash, that stuff. Look how much it costs. How much? Not even just a shower. Yeah, that's right. Even the hand soap is Aura. Just finished. And a thing I should note, they always have challenges, which I love. And all these fitness studios do it. But talking to you, you listening, you who overtrains, those are not good for you. Because <laughs> at least me, it's like I get a free hoodie if I just do 30 classes in a month. I don't need any more hoodies. But you just give me a goal, I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna overtrain and hurt myself. For some of you, you're like, no, I just need something to work towards. Otherwise, I won't show up. Do those challenges. Self awareness. <laughs> My post workout treat. If you're starting on the treadmill, it's gonna be different intervals. They're gonna tell you to walk, jog, run, or sprint, and they're gonna give you a range. A jog is a five to seven miles per hour, so you can adapt it to your running level. Then you're gonna hop down on the floor, slip spot, flip swap, slip over swap, slip. <coughs> Switch spots. <laughs> and you're gonna do a circuit. So it'll be like do 10 lat raises, 10 sit ups. Every day of the week is different. So like Mondays might be upper body, Tuesdays I think are like abs and ass, Wednesday will be lower body, Fridays full body. And so their idea, and I've heard them say this, this is a con. That you can do berries every single day because you're alternating muscles. But it's hit training, which you should definitely, definitely not do every single day. Difficulty levels, it's what you make it. Like I said, they're gonna give you a range. So you can start at the lower end and try and increase your speed so you might start off only running at like five miles per hour after a couple months you'll improve and then suddenly your jog is seven miles per hour but if you're someone who can't run it doesn't give the environment that like you can walk aesthetic it is lululemon it is aerial font it is crisp it's black and white neutrals if you didn't know berries and lulu are kind of like this so think lulu aesthetic community i love the community on berries but it's not equal i've been to some studios that are super pretentious and i go in and i'm like i've got to be done up to the nines in my matching set or i'm going to be pushed to the side versus like i will say my one in vancouver i love i feel so welcome like every time they're like hey Kelly, how's it going? i'm like hi i talk to the girls in the change room we all complain that the change room is way too small in the vancouver's one and results i got it is probably my most used one and the best thing I noticed is my speed. It's tough to say in terms of body. If you were like, what has led to your body? I do berries the most. Overall rating, I'm gonna give berries. 4.2 out of five. It is my favorite. I do it almost once a week. It is a balance. You get your weight training, you get your running in. There's not a lot of emphasis on recovery, but it's definitely like my fill for when I wanna go to a nightclub. And I love it, I love it. F45, stands for functional 45. We'll get to why. It's a $30 drop-in and you can get five classes for $145 USD, Canadian price here. What to expect? You're gonna come in and it's gonna be different each time, but you're gonna do circuits of weight training primarily. Some plyometrics, but thinking you're gonna do a circuit of like five, you'll do squats, deadlifts, lunges, and you'll rotate every like 45, 30, 20 seconds, depending on where you're at. And then you'll change stations. So you're kind of changing throughout. A couple days of the week are more cardio-based. So you're gonna do a lot more like box jumps, quick feet, 
feet, things like that, more body weight type exercises. The other days you're gonna do a lot more like weight, basic think squats, chest press, that kind of thing. Difficulty level, I have tough saying because this one they actually have two instructors. So if you wanna get a bit more of a hands-on approach and you are a beginner, you're probably more likely to get a one-on-one -on -one intention, especially with weight training. But I always say weight training is more complex. We all should be doing it, but it's, there's so much more error potential. So it isn't as beginner friendly, but as a beginner, just know, speak your needs, ask for form correction and just like, hey, I'm new here. Can I have like a little bit of extra attention? Today, I'm gonna to take you guys through an F45 class. This is my first time doing one in Vancouver. I used to do it all the time in Toronto. So let's see. Here's what happened in my F45 class here in Vancouver. So you check in, you have these little cubby holes you can put your stuff in. On the board will be the names of everyone in the class so you can monitor your heart rate. And then also on the board will show the workout of the day. Here's me screwing up. I was supposed to rotate in this certain order, I did not pay enough attention and was at the wrong station. That's probably why the trainer was staring at me in that moment. But you know what that happens in these classes, especially if you haven't done one in a while. So they do have things like bikes for their more cardio based workouts, but then it's primarily weights. Blessing and curse of F45 is I feel sometimes it pushes me so much. And other times I'm like, I can just go through the motion. So is that good or is that bad? I don't know. Aesthetic vibe, honestly, this is the one thing I'm gonna say the least. It's more of like a gym. It's always like blue, red, white, kind of always messy. It's like one room, there's just cubicles, there's no change room. So I would say it loses on the aesthetic, which should not be the most important thing, but hey, aesthetic, I'm gonna appreciate it. I love a good selfie when I'm like, oh, it looks so nice like this. Like. Appreciate an aesthetic <laughs> community. I found it the most welcoming. I find something about that. Like it's a lot of like-minded people. If you like that kind of form of weight training, it's like CrossFit without it being CrossFit. It's not that intense, but it's kind of an idea of circuit training, different type of full body exercises. And you have like a group atmosphere. You're all training together. And the results I got, I've never done it long enough to perfectly align, but I will say it is weight training. If you want to grow a certain muscle group, the easiest, fastest way to do that would be weight training. So overall, I'm going to give F45 four out of five. Next up, La Gris. Now I got some hate, some hate in my Pilates video. Cause yes, it's technically not Pilates, but the Pilates video, I was not talking to like Pilates experts. It was like people just curious about Pilates and we tend to group Legree in with that, like us layman people. It's $35 drop in or five classes for $175. That's an American. One thing I saw, I saw this, I'm not happy. It expires in 60 days. Now I get like a year, two years or something, but I don't, I pay for it. Like what if I just go on vacation? You're just gonna take away my passes? That seems fishy. What to expect? You're gonna come in. There's usually like 20-ish mega reformers. You sign in, there's usually not a change room. There's just like two little rooms you can change in, like with a bathroom. Bathroom. Some of them have cubbies, some of them do not. You usually just put your stuff right next to your reformer and you're gonna hop on and the instructor is gonna lead you through different movements. It's a lot more of like a lower energy. So intense, you're gonna have some like top 40 music playing. It's a bit of a darker room. There was kind of like basement vibes and you're gonna do different lengthening and strengthening-esque movements as you'll see here. A lot of pulses, a lot of squats with resistance. I do like, it still is resistance training. It's not weight training, but I do think Legree is a great cross training, lower impact. If you're someone who wants to do resistance training, but you don't like weight training. It's another form. Difficulty level, it's super beginner friendly because there's low impact, there's lesser chance of being injured in that sense. Once again, it all depends on you. I can't prescribe anything. If you're injured, I can't tell you you should do this or not. That's from a professional, you gotta figure that out. Do know, the first five classes, you will feel like an idiot unless you're a dancer because dancers just naturally win. They've kind of done all this stuff. So you're instantly like, oh. It's like I threw a basketball. I don't know how to do those things. You're just gonna feel a little out of place for the first five, but it's one of those classes that like everyone's so focused on themselves that no one's noticing. You know when the instructor at the beginning class is like, anyone new here? And you're always embarrassed? No, make it no. Be like, yes, I am new, so no one can make fun of me. This is my first time. If you make fun of me, you're the villain. And I know, I'm kind of like that. You're embarrassed, like, oh, I'm a newbie. But now I've learned, I'm like, no. I want everybody to know I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> So no one's judging. So there, there's my little tip. Here I am on the reformer. I was assigned for the workout. And now the Gris is very much slowed and controlled movements versus every other workout here that's like hit and high explosive. The Gris done. My ass. <laughs> the aesthetic? I kind of hate Legree's aesthetic. Like the logo's fine and all that, but every one I've gone to is kind of like dark and dreary, which is kind of a vibe. Like sometimes the underexposed videos were in that, like, like look dark and moody. So sometimes you kind of like that. Sometimes I like the grindiness. Community, I have personally never felt a community at Legree. I know there is some. It is very like Pilates mom vibe. And I love that vibe. Like I'm obviously stereotyping people. It's kind of a joke, but I mean, it kind of caters towards that. Like the ones here in Vancouver, it's the rich Pilates moms. They all come together. So maybe I'm just like not in that community.
The one month I did do Legree specifically back in Toronto, actually I found was really beneficial for my health. I was really overwhelmed. I was in like my first experience of burnout and I was doing intense training. I was like doing classic berries, weight training, sprint training, which is great, but I find myself, I do really well being like seasonal. So it was really nice to still feel like I got my resistance training, I got my mobility training in, but I took a break from being overly intense and like my cortisol levels and all that, like obviously I didn't get it tested, which is Oh, I, I maintained everything I'd done up to that point, but it was a really nice way to like take a break from it. That's kind of if you're like sick of weight training, but you don't want to lose what you got, a little slippity swap with the gray. I'm going to give it a 3.2 out of 5. Like it, it's good, but it's like specific. It's not an end all be all. Number four, Orange Theory Fitness. I should do an expose on this. If you guys want a full one, because I got some tea and I'm ready to spill it on the internet. I worked for Orange Theory for a year. And guess what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you all love it, but they just turn their employees into used car salesmen. And that's what it is. That's all I can see now. And I experienced it for the first time in a long time of like being the customer and all the sales tactics they use to sign you up. Even like you can't find the prices on the website, there's a reason for it and they know all that. But I'm not gonna bore you guys with those details. If you want a whole Orange Theory video, let me know. It's $30 for a drop-in. You're not gonna find that because they're gonna do everything possible to give you this free class because the free class, they get you to come and they like tour it. So that's how they make sure you see the value in the $30. That's why they do it. There's a 10 pack for $250. But once again, they want to sign you on the membership because 10 packs you tend to use sporadically. They want the membership that's like the reoccurring payment. That's what they want because that's where the money is. Like Netflix subscription-based model. We're all guilty of it because we forget it. RIP to my Allo subscription. I'm just being stubborn. You should probably go cancel that. Which, yes, I still got canceled because... It's a character flaw in my emails. Jokingly say it, don't get mad that it is Barry's ugly looking stepsister. You're coming, you're gonna start on the floor, which is weights, or or you start on the treadmill. They also have a rower. Sometimes the rower is with the weights, sometimes the rower is with the treadmill. And you're typically gonna do circuits. Now this is where it does shine. There is a walk, a jog, or a run. So either you're gonna do in intervals of running, intervals of jogging, or intervals of walking. So I will say Orange Theory is a great intro into these style of classes. So if you're completely new to fitness classes, I don't want you to feel discriminated or unheard and like that I'm making fun of this and you're like wow I'm cool like Kelty's like oh berries you should be at berries and I just want to be able to like walk on a treadmill and I feel I hear you everything else I'm, I'm kind of poking fun it is great for that but I will just say if you do it you're gonna advance pretty soon and I'll be proud of you and I want you to get to that level that you look back and you kind of laugh you're like ah I see what this is. It is a great intro and you should appreciate it. I, I just poke fun because I'm a little traumatized from working at Orange Theory Fitness. Now the reason, it's just not the same vibe. Like Barry's is like dark room with these lights and it's like music pounding, which a lot of people don't like, but it gives me that nightclub vibe. Like I push myself so hard in a Barry's boot camp because I'm like, everyone's going. I just feel motivated. Something about Orange Theory Fitness is it's just like a little bit, like, I feel you can cheat it. I always feel I'm like, oh, I'm a little sore. I'm just gonna like half ass it in this. That's like the vibe difference. And difficulty level, this is, I'd say beginner to intermediate versus berries would be like a little bit over here. Okay, off to my first Orange Theory fitness class in years. And I've never been less excited for a workout. Normally you'd buy a heart rate monitor that goes around your rib cage, but I didn't have one. So they lent me this one that went around the wrist that monitors your heart rate the entire workout that you can see your results on the board. Be transparent, I was just not gonna do this because I know the ins and the outs. I don't need to do another one for this review, but I gotta do it just in case anything's changed. It was one of the most like depressing episodes of my life. Just that time in my life and the job. <sighs> so it brings back such bad memories. Aesthetic vibe, I love the color orange, but it's, it's a little, just like they missed the mark a little. Like I'm not gonna take a pretty photo of it. I'm like, ah, oh, the orange is nice. And there's a whole science behind the orange zone. And that's what the orange zone is. They want you in that zone two cardio, which actually now there's a lot more science out about it, about the health benefits of it. So I do approve of Orange Theory Fitness for that. And the community, this, I'm just gonna be honest. It's like very, maybe this is why I'm making fun of it. When I worked for it, everyone was in their 40s to 60s. And that's fine and that's amazing. But like my audience is really 18 to like 35. So I'm like, it's just typically for parents who have like three kids, just need accountability after work. That's usually, that's why they're always in suburbs or in street fitness is where like a berries or soul cycle is gonna be planted in an urban area. So that's why I'm making fun of it a little. And then all those urban moms in suburbia are making fun of me because they're like, you stupid millennial will never own property. You're correct. So who's winning here? I just, it was very like low energy community. Like a lot of complainers, all the ones I've been in. It was a lot of people like just want to vent about their problems, which we, we kind of need, but I'm just like draining energy. But I also went and Edmonton. So is this the Edmonton versus Vancouver thing? <laughs>
I love my hometown, I love it, but like sometimes you're depressing. And results I got, none. Actually, no, it made me very tainted of uh, fitness studios because now I see them through a lens of profits. A 2.5 out of 5. It's not awful. It just is for a very specific niche. Four to six year old women who need some accountability after work, got to drop their kids off at school. They're at practice. They got 30 minutes. Get your work in, which is great. But it's a little boss babe era. 2012 Pinterest. Chuggy, as they'd say, which now the word chuggy is chuggy. Next up, Rumba! Are you ready to have Price? You have to have the gloves, the big gloves. Think of a boxing glove. Those cost me $3 to rent. And then it was $8 for the wrap because I forgot my own wrap. You will buy those. Like the gloves will be like probably in the 40s, 50s. The wrap's like 10 bucks. Um, but just know they charge you. It is $34 a class. Honestly, these are all going to be a couple dollar difference. They're usually all in the 30 to 50 range. Orange Theory Fitness is actually the cheapest, but that's only if you get the membership and you can't really do drop-ins. They're all about 30 to 35. It does depend. Urban areas downtown are gonna cost a little bit more. Rumble specifically has two stations once again. One is weights, one is boxing bags, and you're gonna run through a sequence. Typical boxing, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, and a six. And they're gonna tell you a sequence. They're gonna be like a one, two, one. One, two, one, three, hook. And they're gonna tell you to do that. Or on the floor, very similar to Barry's or into your fitness, they're gonna be running you through circuits. Dark room with lights, it's giving you your nightclub fix. So I know some of you do wait, do a fitness class to like relax, zen out, you wanna breathe, think my Pilates, yoga esque girls. But then sometimes you're like, I just need to let out. Like I need that on a Friday. I just, I'm like, ooh, I just need the little things, but I don't wanna go to the club right now. That's why I go to like a rumble boxing. It's very therapeutic, just like purge emotions. After a breakup, I had my biggest break of my life and I did like champs boxing class every day for a week and it cured me of my mental health. It did not, but like great placebo. Difficulty level, usually these are very beginner friendly, but it has the hardest learning curve. I have friends who do it once every few months and they've never fully gotten it. They'll do it for fun, but I find to really get the benefits of it. Commit to like two weeks of it, really learn the form. And this one's fun because you really see like the improvement of a skill over time. Like that was the funnest thing for me by like my fifth to 10th class. I was like, oh, like it's kind of like dancing feeling, but like badass that once you get like the groove of it. Here was when I did the rumble class in New York. Here are the punching bags you'd use and the flip side here are the four you would use. Don't mind me, I only filmed after the class because I didn't want to get in trouble. Here was the one clip I did try to record in the class and just my luck, I put it on the wrong side. So I just found my water bottle, not the actual workout, but just like visualize me. You can kind of see in the corner punching the bag and then going over to the floor and doing very similar what you do at a Barry's boot camp. Aesthetic, this one is very similar to them all, but it's I guess it's just a bit of a different font. Lululemon style, they just actually did a collab with Lululemon so now you can do it virtually with the mirror. If you guys want a mirror video, I have a lot of, I just ask it. I just miss talking to you guys. I don't know, like, just sit down with a little chit chat. If you guys want me to review the mirror, I can do that as well, comment down below. But it's a pretty one. They're always really nice, this. And it's very like nightclub-y. Same as Soul Cycle, Equinox, Berries, Rumble. They're all kind of the same vibe. Results I got, honestly, when I was like heavy into my boxing, my arms were looking nice. A little shoulder pop. Only downside is I found myself just, you're doing so much one way. I, just, I think my muscles were just a little bit uneven. So Rumble, overall, I'm going to give a four out of five. Next up, the cult among cults. Now, I think Soul Cycle is kind of going under, I'm gonna be honest, because it's shut down all of its locations in Canada. Bad sign. $30 American for a drop-in. It was $180 for a five pack in the US or for four classes a month, it was 146 Canadian. What to expect? You're gonna go in dark room with a little candle and they're gonna blast some music and you're gonna get like a meditation, motivational talk. There's like different hand things you're gonna do, like pumps and you're gonna put your hands in different places. It's kind of like synchronized bike. Sometimes you'll sprint, other times you'll increase it and go up the hill and you're doing it to a song. So there's usually like 10-ish songs. You'll stop and do weights in the middle of it. Difficulty level spin is a great intro. I know it seems the scariest, especially before you know it, but the best thing about spin is you can cheat it. It's also why it has its faults. You can definitely sit there and like put on no resistance, chill in the back room and just kind of nicely pedal, stand up and no one's looking at you. So I find it's very easy and accepting. <laughs> you just kind of hide in the back till you're like, you know what, I feel confident. I want to be front row. I want to show off my skills. Aesthetic vibe, it, it's soul cycle. They have, everything's branded. It is Lululemon-esque font. It's very much that. It's got their yellow because it's supposed to be happy vibes. Now, why is it a cult? There's a lot of drama. Like, I don't know, like, what'd you drink the Kool-Aid of it? I don't know if I'm allowed to say that saying anymore, but it, like, it's so therapeutic, but sometimes after you do it so much, you're like, ooh. Like, every class, they're like, dig deep. I know you're going through a hard time, but you can get through this. If you only believe, you can overcome these struggles. And this spin class is a representation of all your hard work, your struggles. And one day, you will rise up above them, and you will conquer the world, and you're just like, yes, and it was 
scream and like, woo, and we're all purging into motions. And then they blow up the candle and it's like meditation and woo, and you all cry because you had a breakup with this guy. It's very much that vibe and it's great. And I've cried in like 10 times at least in Soul Cycle class. So yeah, I love it. But every once in a while, you're like not in that mood and you just kind of sit there and you look around, you're like, woo. A little coffee. Results I got, I find um, kind of crappy results from spin. Honestly, it's very one dimensional. You're kind of just moving forward. It's a great way to work on cardio, heart health. I love it. If you just do spin for fitness, it's really limiting. I think it's a way to lead to injuries, burning yourself out. Overall, I'll give it a 3.5 mm, out of 5. Love it. But you know, I also prefer YG cycle in Edmonton. I'm going to be 100% honest. I'm going to list them best to worst. But first, I'm going to give some honorable mentions. Into everywhere I've been, my favorite studio. So if you travel to these, Vancouver Ride Cycle, specifically the 4 p.m. Rave Cave. Oh my God, my people who love house music, obsessed. Edmonton Champs, another Edmonton YG Cycle. Best spin class I've ever done. If you're in Toronto, this has been the only place that has done multiple different forms of fitness classes and nailed it, sweat and tonic. There's a spin class that actually feels like a soul cycle. They have treadmill and weight section. It actually feels like a berries. And they have my favorite yoga classes in the world. Love it. Vancouver, I'm going to shout out to Jaybird, which is my favorite like hot yoga-esque, but it's not really hot yoga. It's like Pilates. And Yard Athletics, which is like a 12 person personal training, more performance based sports here in Vancouver. And those are my favorite. Now, ranking them best to worst and who should do each of these. Top berries for me personally. I don't think it's for everyone. I think a lot of people can have bad experience on berries and not all of them are great, but it is my most gone to. So I got to admit my addiction to it. And the worst, OTF with a little sprinkle of soul cycle because of the cultiness. Spin is very, should be 5% of your fitness routine. And once again, if you're working out, I'm happy for you. That's fine. I just mean like you wouldn't be well-rounded. Who's each for? Berries. My urban city dweller girls who love going to nightclub and want to like replace their nightclub with a healthier activity. Soul cycle, you need to purge some emotion. You just had a breakup, tough time at work. F45, you want a class atmosphere, but you don't want to do CrossFit. This is another great alternative. Look great, you're someone who lives in aloe yoga, Lululemon. You want a group fitness class, but you don't want to be yelled at and you kind of hate the pounding music of a soul cycle. Berries, rumble. You like soul cycle, you like that intensity, but you need something different. You want a bit more full body, try boxing. OTF, you want to do berries, but you're not there. And you're like, one day I would love to do a berries boot camp, but like, I, I just need a little bit beginner. I just want to start off a little, so I'll go to Orange Theory Fitness, get the groove of the fitness class bug. Get the bug, get out. Make sure to cancel that membership. And if you want the tea on it, I'll let you know the tea. And then you'll be like, Kelty, you're being really mean. Once I expose the tea, you'll get it. Well, sorry, have a great day. If you're new here, hit subscribe. If you want to see other reviews of fitness, wellness things, unbiased, sometimes biased, but I'll admit my biases. And most importantly, have a great day. Go pet a dog. Love you guys. Bye.